Hello friends today we are going to read a story Hansel and Gretel Hansel and Gretel are brother and sister who found a house made of candies and gingerbread in the forest that's very strange isn't it kids but who does it belong to once upon a time a brother and sister named Hansel and Gretel lived in a hut in a woods with their father their father was poor woodcutter his wife their mother had died when the two children were very young their father thought he would not be lonely anymore when he finally remarried but the new stepmother made life very hard for Hansel and Gretel the children were not allowed to eat until after the stepmother had taken everything she wanted off the plates most of the time there was only a crust of bread left and all day long were hard chores for them to do hansel and gretel tried to tell their father about this but he would not hear of it it seemed the only one he would listen to was his wife and all the stepmother talked about was how much trouble it was to have children in the hut and how much she wished they would go away forever each day there was less and less food for the boy and girl to eat yet the stepmother gave them more and more hard work to do one day gretel begged her father please father all day long we work hard and we are hungry but the stepmother slapped her face you ungrateful brat she yelled you will eat us out of house and home that night woodcutter's wife convinced him to get rid of the children by leaving them behind in the forest the children who had overheard this were very upset hansel quietly sneaked out of the house and filled his pockets with some pebbles which were shining brightly in the moonlight next morning even before sunrise the stepmother woke up the children and said get ready you two let's go to the forest to get some wood she handed them a small piece of bread each for lunch on the way hansel used the pebbles he had collected to mark a path from his home to the forest now they could easily follow the trail and reach home once they reached the middle of the forest the woodcutter asked hansel and gretel to fetch wood while he built a fire when the children were back their father asked them to lie down next to the fire and relax he told them that he and his wife were going to cut some firewood and would return to get them after their work was done the children were tired and soon fell asleep when they woke up it was already very dark gretel who was scared of the dark started crying don't worry gretel once the moon comes out i will lead you home hansel consoled his sister once the moon peeked out of the cloud hansel and gretel could see the pebbles that shone like bright coins They followed the trail of pebbles all night and by morning they reached home. Their stepmother was shocked to know that the children had found their way back home. Why did you stay back in the forest for so long? We thought you didn't want to return. She taunted them. Their father, however, was very happy to see them. He never wanted to leave them behind. Once again, the stepmother started planning to abandon the children this time i will take them farther into the forest so that they are unable to find their way home she told her husband once again the children overheard their stepmother's wicked plan hansel decided to go out and gather some pebbles however he found that the main door was locked he could not go outside next morning the stepmother gave them a slice of bread each and took them to the forest again this time gretel decided to use her slice of bread to leave a trail of bread crumbs along the way the 
woodcutter and his wife once again left them behind in the forest. When the children woke up, they decided, he decided to follow the trail of bread crumbs and go home. However, they could not find any bread crumbs. Their heart sank when they realized that the birds and other small animals must have eaten the bread crumbs. By now, the children were very scared. Gretel cried Hansel. What are we going to do now? Gretel, who was scared herself, hugged her brother to comfort him. It was getting darker and darker and they were lost in the dense forest. Suddenly, Gretel saw some lights at a distance. She wondered if it was a hut. The children decided to go and find out. They hoped that some kind person living there would let them stay in for the night. And so they ran toward the light. When they reached closer, they were shocked at what they saw. For the hut was made of candy and had a gingerbread roof. Its walls were covered with frosting. Oh, what a lovely sight it was for the hungry children. They immediately started licking the frosting while taking small bites of the candy. Suddenly, they heard a sharp voice. Who is nibbling at my house? The scared children turned around. It was an old witch who had spoken. Gretel bowed to her and said sweetly, I am sorry, ma'am. Your house is made of such tasty candies. We were very hungry and could not stop ourselves. The witch gave them a sly smile and spoke gently. Come inside, I will get you some food. The children entered the house happily and were served a hot meal. After finishing their meal, they finally noticed their surroundings. The children were shocked to see the piles and piles of bones lying in the corner of the house. Too scared to escape, they huddled together in a corner until sleep took over them. When the children woke up the next morning, Hansel found himself locked up inside a cage. Before Gretel could even walk up to the cage, the witch entered the room and yelled, Your brother will stay in that cage. I will feed him and fatten him up. And soon he will be my dinner. She rubbed her hand together in joy and laughed loudly. Then she pointed at Gretel and said, And you, you will work for me. The witch made Gretel work hard all day long while she fed Hansel to fatten him up. Every morning, the witch would ask Hansel to show her his finger to feel how pumped he had become. Gretel realized that the witch could not see well, so she came up with a plan. Gretel picked up a thin bone lying in one of the pile and gave it to her brother. She told him to hold it out the next time the witch asked him to show her his finger. The next morning, Hansel did just that. The witch fell for the trick and decided that it would take longer to fatten up the boy. From then on, each morning when the witch said, Show me your finger. Hansel held out the thin bone. Finally, one day, the angry witch yelled, I will eat the boy today, no matter how thin he is. Then the witch asked Gretel to heat up the oven. Gretel worked slowly, trying to buy more time. She saw the witch smiling slyly at her and wondered what could be the reason. Be a dear and go inside the oven and tell me if it is hot enough. The witch ordered Gretel. Gretel realized that the witch wanted to push her inside and cook her first. Gretel spoke softly. I am not sure how hot it should be. Just go in. I am sure you will know if it is right, urged the witch. Please show me how, Gretel pleaded. The witch, who was now angry, yelled at Gretel, 
See, this is how you check. And the moment the witch entered the oven, Gretel shut the door of the oven. Then, without wasting any time, Gretel started searching for the key to Hansel's cage. After a while, she found the key inside a glass jar. But to her surprise, along with the key, she found many precious stones inside the other jars. Gretel quickly freed Hansel from the cage. Then the children filled up their pocket with the precious stones and ran out of the hut. After running for a while, they found a small path. This path led them to their house. They knocked on the door. Their father opened the door and was overjoyed to see them. The children also found out that their stepmother had died. Hansel and Gretel gave the precious stone to their father, who sold them and they lived happily for a long, long time. Thank you and don't forget to subscribe our channel Story Club India.